Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I'm the Beater Boater, also known as Justin, and I just wanted to put my thoughts together this morning on Jackson's latest release of a boat that they're calling the Flow. And so Jackson has revamped the Nirvana, and they've released a boat called the Narvana, I guess about a year ago, as their new, like, um, aggressive, fast, like, ultimate creek boat. And so I was really excited to see that they were releasing another boat. Um, I was really kind of hoping for maybe a Mixmaster 2.0 or a maybe a smaller half slice, something that would be like kind of spicier than the Antics. Um, I had a hunch that they were probably going to do something to replace the failed Zen 3. And I was really kind of shocked to see that what they basically did was they shrunk and repackaged the Narvana into like a smaller version called the flow and so last night i posted my thoughts and my opinions on my facebook page and it stirred up a lot of uh, discourse and debate and you know there are people that are definitely fans of brands and i feel like i ruffled the feathers of some of those people but here's the thing that confused me from jackson they really didn't market the uniqueness of this boat and if you watch the flow promo video that they released, they use the word better like four times. Like this boat carves better, it surfs better, um, better, 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 better than the Narvana. And just watching this as a paddling enthusiast, I was like, wow, it is almost as if they're trying to turn people away from their own product and kind of channel them towards this new boat. And so I got a lot of interesting feedback uh, on the post. There were a lot of smaller paddlers um, and women who chimed in and said, hey, like this is a niche for me and this is cool because it does have some of the functionality and the best parts in the Narvana in a smaller package. And I was like, okay, that's cool. Why didn't we market it that way? Um, why didn't why didn't Jackson kind of market it in a way that said, hey, this is a companion boat to the Narvana, and it really kind of felt like a replacement, and I think I ruffled some feathers. But I watched a lot of people's um, videos from, like, where they were at these events where Jackson was revealing the boat, and uh, Boyd Rappel, like, had this new flow on the back, back of his truck and had it propped up and he basically says hey this is a shrunken nirvana and then he says something that i'm really kind of tired of from boat manufacturers especially in the realm of creek boats he said hey this is a great boat for a beginner and an expert and i'm really kind of tired of manufacturers that are trying to sell a boat to everyone so this is my message packaged around the flow and sent to anyone in the kayaking industry an insider behind the scenes boat designer it is okay to make a boat for just beginners like this is a beginner boat this is a beginner friendly boat or hey this boat is really designed for intermediate and advanced paddlers i think it's totally okay to say that and be up front with people about that i think um, this trying to package a creek boat for everybody, I think it's really detrimental to, to the brands and the business and the industry as a whole because you're going to get a lot of people that are disappointed because they're being sold this product that, hey, anybody can jump in this thing and it's going to be great. And we all know, any experienced paddler knows, that's not going to be the scenario for every boat. Every boat's got a different personality. Every paddler paddles different, has a different style. We're all progressing in different ways and have different skill levels. My thing is, like, let's be cool and honest and upfront with people. And, like, it's okay. You don't have to sell this boat to everybody. It's okay to have, like, a niche. And that was the thing with the flow. If this is a niche boat and it's trying to fit in some segment, like just say that. Like, hey, here's who this boat is for. And so that's my thoughts. That's my Saturday morning cup of coffee, kayak crazy brain swimming around. So 
leave some comments down below. Tell me what you think. Um, if I ruffled your feathers, let me know. Um, if you feel the same, let me know. I'd be really interested to hear your thoughts on this concept. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Thank <laughs> you.